Hello kings and queens, greeting to you all, you are most welcome, I have this news from Mali where uh, the government of Mali bans political party activities until further notes. What is your opinion on this? The government of Mali is light or is long? So let us start our conversation, uh, please share with us in the comment section what do you think about this. But for me, I think uh, the authorities of Mali uh, light and the government of Mal is light. Why? Because uh, these elections always divide people and for instance at this uh, time where the government of Mal is uh, fighting to bring peace in the country so by allowing political party uh, or political, par political parties to divide, continue dividing people it also bring uh, some conflicts. So for the people of Mali to be uh, or to continue to be united, uh, we have to stop uh, these political parties' activities first. Let us concentrate on, on building the country, the continent, and not on the elections. And that's why I said in my video about the governance system in Africa that um, Africa we need a new system that will bring us a good and quality leader. The system that we have is a system that is designed to divide the people of Africa into ethnic groups, to divide Africans and sometimes these uh, political parties, some of them are sponsored by some NGOs, some groups out there. And those who are sponsoring these political parties, they have their target. They know if you acquire power, they will have access to natural resources. That's why sometimes we see readers who seem like puppets. We have to say this. Why? Because they are sponsored. So they have nothing to do to those who are sponsoring them to power. So what they do is to offer them our natural resources. So this is obvious. That's why you can ask yourself, we are in this business of political parties with this uh, periodic election, what have we achieved as Africa compared to China? What have, have we achieved as Africa compared to Saudi Arabia that is under the king? So you can see. So our, our problems is not about uh, elections. Our problems is beyond elections. So I think that's why uh, the government of Mali has decided to ban these political party activities. So that is just my opinion. Please, you may share your opinion with me or with uh, others on the comment section. What do you think about this? And uh, I would like to add something on that. Um, in many African countries, do your own researches, you will understand after every election, there are some conflicts. And some of these conflicts sometimes bring some countries into civil wars. We have seen this and observed this in your lifetimes. People have been killed, people have been jailed because of these differences in political parties. So that's why I think at this time when or where Mal is trying to unite their people, they have decided to stop these uh, elections. And of course, I think uh, we the people of Africa, as I said, we need to find a good leaders, not the politicians. have been saying this, and I'll continue to say this, that in Africa we have many politicians, but we have no leaders. And I would like to say this, kings and queens, 
in Africa, uh, we have some leaders and some politicians. So not all politicians are leaders. And not all leaders are politicians. So politicians are those who think about the coming election. They think about how they acquire power, how uh, they are going to the next elections. But leaders, or oh good leader, is the one who think about the future of the nation or of the country or continent. That is the leader. They think about the coming generation. Leaders are totally different with politicians. But you can acquire both. You can be a leader and a politician at the same time. But not all politicians are leaders. And that's why you see some of politicians are sponsored to offer our resources to those who are sponsoring them. So for me, I'm not blaming the decisions of Mali. And of course, I think uh, we need to find a new governance system that will bring us a good and quality leaders to lead this continent. The people of Africa, they don't need to know who is leading or they don't want these political parties. The people of, of Africa needs safe water, need peace and security, food on the table, business. They need free movement of people and goods. That's what the people of Africa needs. They need quality education for their children. They need good health care. They don't care who is leading, who is the president, as long as they get these uh, things. So what is good that you are, you are under threat and then you are conducting election? What is better? To postpone elections and then to solve this problem or oh, to go to, into election while we have these troubles. You know, I want to ask you one thing. All of us, we are talking about Rwanda is doing very well. For how long Kagame is in Rwanda? All of us, we are now watching uh, and looking in Saudi Arabia. Who is the leader of Saudi Arabia? It is the king. It is a family. It is the king. So there's no election in, in Saudi Arabia. There's no periodic election that we have like we have in Africa. But things is is going very well. So the problem is not about elections in Africa. The problem is about governance. What kind of a governance we want to to move with. What kind of leader we, we want? We want the leader who delivers services to the people. That is what we want. So, we have many, and we, of course we have seen many countries that have done uh, these periodic elections, uh, and all of us, we know what happened. There's those who believe the elections has been leaked. People came into troubles citizen fighting one another. So I think uh, the authority of Mali have been looking beyond the way we think. Of course, I know politicians are not happy with this and they will condemn uh, about this, but there's no way uh, they can es uh, escape these decisions. Let us build our continent. Let us build our countries. Let us see how we can come together. So with those few words, let me say thank you for your time. Thank you. I know this statement uh, will disappointing politicians, activists, some of them, but we have to build the continent. We have to build the countries first instead going to 
these elections. All of us, we know very well that elections in some countries in Africa dividing people. All of us, we know very well that some political parties are sponsored by those who is our enemies. So they use these uh, tools to come back to our resources. And that's what they are doing. So I know, I know, and all of us, of course, we know very well that we have seen planted leaders came in through these systems of elections. So they know very well. So that's why I think the authorities have decided to stop first, to stabilize the country first, and then uh, the other thing will come. Let us first build our countries. Let us first making sure that we have food on the table. Let us first of all making sure that uh, we have quality and good services for our people. Other things will be done. So if there are someone who is doing those stuffs, so let us wait to see what it will happen. So people have decided to take the country from one stage to another. So politicians, be patient. I know politicians are those who think about elections and leaders think about uh, coming generation. That is the difference between them. So